Welcome back to That Dad Guys. March 31st, 2023, and we've come to the end of another month, which is, means exciting news for tomorrow, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Today, we've got a plethora of mail to get through. We've got some official postcards, we've got friend mail, we've got surprise mail. Um, it was a good week, and uh, I got lots of stuff to, to go through and talk to you about here. And what else? Oh yeah, I put out a new video two days ago now on uh, Henrietta Edwards. I don't know if you got a chance to check it out. If you did, go check it out. It's something I'm trying a little bit different. Um, leave a comment on that video if you uh, like that style of video and uh, want to see more of those. And uh, we're going to go from there and see what else we can come up with. All right, let's get into today's post crossing. Uh, the first official one I have is this beautifully colored one here. It comes from the Netherlands and uh, it comes from Jacques. And that's how it's uh, written here it says hope you like the cool colorful painting by a local artist Tom Schulten uh, so that's cool that it's a local artist uh, and what's really neat is he said he visited Moncton in 2018 so they were uh, visiting the Maritimes and got a chance to stay in, in Moncton and I uh, said it was impressive loved how the people were generally made you feel welcome so I'm very glad that uh, my local uh, people uh, made you feel at home and hopefully get a chance to come back one day here are the beautiful stamps to go with the beautiful original artwork all right my next one comes from the united states we have all these nice tulips this comes from dawn and she's in michigan uh, when she wrote this on the 8th of march she'd just gotten 10 inches of snow uh, so she said she's ready for spring I hear you. Uh, we've got snow outside still. It is slowly melting away, but we still get flurries and um, it's kind of chilly today. So uh, it's not going away yet, but two days next week, I can see the temperatures are going to be in double digits to the positive. So that will help the melt. And uh, yeah, eventually we will get tulips and uh, crocuses and all those fun things popping up here as well. All right, next card comes from Germany, from Berlin. And uh, this uh, it comes from Alex and he says, uh, here are some of the famous buildings in around Berlin, but there's lots more to see and do for sure. Um, I got a chance to go with my wife a long time ago to Berlin and we got to see a few things, but uh, not nearly enough and not nearly much detail. And that was the way throughout the whole trip. We got to see uh, highlights of things. Uh, we didn't stay too long in any one spot. We were having a rush. Even though we were in Europe for two and a half months, um, it felt kind of like we were on a rush adventure because there's always things to go back and see. And uh, Berlin and Germany had some amazing things. The Romantic Strada was another one. Um, so lots of uh, great places to see. So thank you, Alex, for that. This next card comes from the Czech Republic. And this comes from Vladimir. And he says he's retired, he's living in a native village, he likes nature and walking and uh, is uh, walking his with his dash hound to nearby forests and gardening. He, uh, don't, he doesn't miss uh, the big cities at all, but he said Prague is really beautiful. And so here are some images, much like the, the Berlin card showing you some highlights of what you might see if you're there. And here are the stamps from the Czech Republic. So thank you Vladimir for that. I have another one here coming from Germany and this comes from Dirk and he just says best wishes from Germany. My wife builds a droid from Star Wars out of Lego. So it's nice to see there's more Lego collectors out there so uh, hopefully your wife enjoys building that Lego. I don't know if it's uh, BB-8 or R2-D2 or what Lego one it is but hopefully it is fantastic. And a look at the back, a look at that stamp. I hadn't seen this German stamp before, so it was nice to get a new one. They're all nice, but when you see something new, it's extra special. So thank you, Dirk, for that. And this one comes from Great Britain. It's a little bit cheeky. Uh, the person here, this is Linda. She lives in Wooler in the north of England. She says the gateway to Northumberland National Park including beautiful uh, Chariot Hills. It says his son is a big, or her son is a big Lego fan. And uh, also uh, her granddaughter, who's seven, is also a Lego fan. So 
Lego fans are of any age. And on the box, it says you're good till you're 99 years old. So I still have a few years to go with my Lego. And uh, so hopefully uh, many others will. Uh, it also says uh, he bought this. she bought this card at her local visitor center. It's the first one she's seen with King Charles on it. So nice to get a King Charles III postcard. And you can see the King's English, what axe means. Uh, axe is a tool used for chopping wood in Northumberland. Um, word axe means ask, as in ask yourself what for. There you go. And there is the beautiful stamp. Thank you, Linda. Now we're going to move on to some uh, direct messaging mail. First one comes from Aaron in Colorado. This is a foil card. This is the first time I've had one of these. So it's uh, very cool. A little sparkly. That's the tiger in the long grass. And here are the stamps. It came from Aaron in Colorado. We've got a heavy cancellation through it, so it's hard to see. She's got it all nicely decorated with fruit and things like that. So thank you, Aaron. Uh, this next one was a real big surprise. Here, these are from Netherlands. These are the stamps that are post-crossing stamps. Hadn't seen these yet before. One day, hopefully, I'll get them attached to a, a card or an envelope. And uh, this comes from Billy. And uh, Billy says, some time ago, she received a post an official postcard from me, uh, which she loved. Thank you very much. And uh, she also has been enjoying watching my YouTube. So maybe she's watching this. Hopefully, Billy, you're watching this. I appreciate the card. And uh, she wanted to do some uh, future swaps. So I think we can arrange that and get some... Uh, cards out there and on the back we have a hedgehog stamp love it i have seen this one before but i think this is a i may have gotten it once before but uh i really like it so thank you billy for that all right this next card from the mandalorian this is grogu or baby yoda as some people called it, him in the first season uh this comes from amber and she's in france and she said she discovered my channel last year after I left her a comment on one of her Instagram pictures. So uh, she had a picture of uh, Canada Post. She was mailing some cards. And uh, so I reached out to her just to say hello. And uh, she found out that she was actually uh, from France visiting Canada last year. So I thought it was very cool. And you know, maybe one day she'll come back and visit the Maritimes. She was in Quebec at the time. There is the stamp. From France. I don't get a lot of mail from France, so it's always extra special when I do get a card. Uh, she started by saying bonjour instead of uh, hello, but uh, the rest of it she put in English. Last week I'd gotten a card from France and it was all written in French, so I have to practice back and forth um, translating and things. So thank you, Amber. Thank you for the beautiful decorations and reaching out and uh, for future swaps. All right. This next card comes from Carl in Austria. So it's a Vienna card and it's kind of a, a 360 optical illusion of the city. There are the stamps that Carl put on it. Nice can big cancellations on them too. Carl goes to lots of meetups, so I always get the cards from Carl. And so it's kind of nice to get a card. Well, I like the meetup ones, but I also like uh, other ones too from Austria. So thank you, Carl. Uh, this was a nice surprise too. This comes from Rovic in the Philippines. I haven't heard from him in quite some time. Um, he messaged to say that it was his birthday the day he was writing this and that he was going to go off and celebrate with friends. He just turned 14. So uh, he's really enjoying school and life. And uh, so I'm glad you're enjoying life and you're also enjoying uh, sending postcards and collecting stamps and doing all that at a young age. It's nice to have some fun hobbies that keep you out of mischief. There are the stamps. So thank you very much, Robert, and glad to hear from you again. All right, we have another card from Austria. This one comes from Anita, and uh, she says this is Graz, and it's a very nice city. It's about 80, kilometer, 80 kilometers from where she lives, or kilometers from where she lives. Springs arrived there. Um, very jealous of uh, her having spring, and uh, we haven't gotten it yet, but it's coming. There are the Austrian stamps. She's been doing some renovations in her house, so it's an ongoing process. All right, this next card comes from Finland from my friend Media, and uh, she talks about how she was going off and having a busy weekend uh, 
um, going to a few arenas, ice arenas, seeing some things, going to some museums along the way and some concerts. And uh, she's created this card with kind of a maxi card because there's the matching stamp or the stamp that uh, is the same as the, uh, the painting. So very cool. All right, this is another surprise one. This one comes from Ohio in the United States. It comes from Eric. He says, greetings from Ohio. I have searched for post crossing on YouTube and your video channel came up. Love the videos. I subscribe to your channel. Thank you so much, Eric. Uh, feel free to reach out and comment and uh, do all that. I'm glad to get your card. And there are some beautiful Star Wars stamps there with a few droids. BB-8 R2-D2 3CPO. Yeah, not just droids. I know who they are. All right. This next card comes from our friend Lewis. We've got a Batman card. And uh, he's got it all decorated up nicely. He's got Batman stickers on it. We've got a cool stamp. This is the sixth anniversary stamp of the Burj Khalifa. So a very nice stamp to have. Hard to believe it's already six years old. I remember when it was introduced as the tallest tower in the world. And we have this one from Lewis as well, The Amazing Spider-Man. Reminds me of some of the cards that uh, Jilly B recently found on Etsy, maybe? Something like that. And uh, we have the prints hanging around with his camera. So a very nice stamp there. I like how it's a different shape, too. A little, odd, a little uh, off rectangular. And lots of Spider-Man stickers things to go along well decorated as normal so thank you Lewis for that the puffy stamp did survive the trip I mean, you can't really see it there but there's a puffy spider sticker there so it survived as well thank you for those cards all right this was a surprise card that came in this came from Shara in British Columbia it's the adventures of polo I don't know if you guys have been watching hopefully you've been watching the videos for quite some time if not you may want to go back and try to find some more of these um, she's created the adventures of polo and uh, the last time that I saw Polo, he was in um, Hawaii and he'd met a girl. Now apparently he's in London. I don't see the girl anymore, so maybe they broke up, but <laughs> he's having a great time. Uh, he's gone to England, I guess, for the King's coronation in May. So uh, we will see where he ends up going after that. There are some nice stickers and stamp, and the Queen's stamp up there. Um, so thank you, Cheryl, for that. Thank you for continuing to create these little adventures of uh, our friend Polo, who's uh, the hedgehog that's living upstairs right now, uh, our pet, but uh, in card form, he's traveling the world, so it's neat to see where he's getting up to. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, now we have a vintage card. This one comes from Kathy in Ontario. This is Expo 86 uh, that took place in Vancouver. And uh, as a young adult and uh, early marriage, uh, my wife and I lived in Vancouver, so we would often walk down uh, the sea wall or go uh, down to this area where the Science Center is now. This building is still there. Some of the structures from Expo 86 are, are still around and uh, things that were created for Expo 86 like the SkyTrain and things are staples of Vancouver life now and have expanded uh, since when the Olympics were there in 2010. They've expanded even more. Um, so Expo 86 really had a huge impact on uh, Vancouver and uh, really put it in the map uh, in Canada, but then it really put it on the map in the world too. And so hosting the Olympics and maybe uh, hosting future Olympics there between Vancouver and Whistler will continue to happen. And uh, she's decorated it with some uh, things that might inspire spring. So thank you, Kathy. All right, this next card comes from the Pope. Well, it comes from Ross, who was in Italy with his wife uh, having a nice vacation. And so we've got a chance to be uh, to go to the Vatican in Rome and get this cool postcard. And then this equally cool stamp representing, a, I believe, a director for Spaghetti Westerns, uh, Sergio Leone, who lived from 1829 to 1986. Um, maybe had a lot to do with uh, Clint Eastwood and uh, the Westerns that he came and started to do later on. But... Uh, European spaghetti westerns were a huge thing. And Ross also went to Florence. We got this one. This is on a nice uh, 
type of cardstock too, very different than you normally get for a postcard. Um, so very cool. I remember traveling around Florence and visiting. Uh, he said he went to see the Statue of David, which was very cool. Uh, they had museums around there and the architecture, fantastic. Uh, the Medici family had a huge impact on that area. All right, this next one is a cute hedgehog card. This comes from Jilly B of Jilly B Living Her Life Her Way. You want to check out her channel. So we have this one all adorned with some Easter things. And uh, we also have some very cool stamps that some person put a black marker through. But, oh well, they have arrived. They're marine stamps and uh, some X-Men stamps. There you got Wolverine, or the Beast rather. So thank you, Julie, for that. And Julie wasn't done. She sent another one. She sent this maxi card. So we've got the beast with the beast stamp. And then she also put another stamp on the other side. So it's got lots of, lots of postage to get it here. This side was never canceled, but uh, I really enjoy that. Um, I'm glad that she's doing better. I also notice that she's got the unicorn on there for the unicorn club, uh, which is uh, myself and Renee and uh, Julie. So, I don't know, maybe there will be other members, I don't know, but uh, for now, those unicorns show up on our cards. All right, this next one is an envelope. It comes from Illinois in the United States. I did mention that Jilly was in the UK. <laughs> Hopefully I did. And Ross, prior to that, is Canadian, but was traveling over to, uh, to Italy. This one comes from Zach in the United States. And he has sent uh, this type of card, which is all right. I don't mind getting these cards as well um, but he said he want, had an update on his interviews um, he went for some job interviews and had success with all of them and has now picked one and uh, so congratulations Zach on uh, your new employment and when you get a new address and your new location let me know and uh, we'll write to you there as well all right this next envelope comes from Bernardo in uh, Mexico uh, Taking a long time to get here. Uh, as the postmark, it said it was sent on the 16th of February, and here we are at the end of March, but it has arrived. So, uh, Bernardo, if you're watching, it finally got here. So, very happy for that. And inside, he sent uh, a couple of postcards that haven't been written on. We have this one of the Santa Monica Pier in California. He and his wife were up visiting family in California, and so we got that, and you can see it hasn't been written on, so it will go out one day to someone else. And this one here of San Diego, which is where he was staying at the time, I believe. And we have a nice little note. And then he has also included a few stamps, which we'll do in a later video. So you have to tune in at a later date to see that. All right, so thank you, Bernardo, for thinking of me while you were away and getting those off. He said that there wasn't a lot of uh, places close by to mail it for uh, from the US. So wherever he was located, it wasn't close and handy to a post office, but that's all right. And he said he also was looking for some uh, brick and mortar stamp shops and he couldn't find any of those. I fear this hobby uh, isn't as popular as it once was. So I am hoping that there will be a resurrection of people that uh, are into uh, stamp collecting. And maybe the fact too that businesses aren't as much being into uh, brick and mortar, it's more becoming online. That that's the way it's going to go is that uh, you're looking for stamps you're going on ebay you're going on uh, specific sites for uh, for stamps that way um, who knows but yeah there's not a lot of uh, actual stamp places to go to that are storefronts all right my next envelope comes from linda in uh, georgia in the united states and it's all decorated for easter it looks great and that's a special theme she's always good about kind of putting some hints on this but uh, originally I would have thought, you know, it's Easter anyways coming up, so might, might as well be Easter. So she put a little note, but inside she sent me a packet of Easter stickers. We got some chicks and some uh, eggs and flowers and things. And then some postcards. So we've got some blank postcards that I can use this weekend because I've run out of Easter themed. We have this one here with the egg and the chick. And we have this one here with the eggs and the chicks inside. How about a bunny coming out of an egg? It doesn't usually happen that way, but chocolate bunnies, who knows? They're a little different. This one here, kind of nice on the back. There's some decorations as well. Go the right way up, Easter. 
And this one here with the Easter drum and the Easter eggs all done behind. So those are going to be fantastic. They came just in time. Uh, as Sunday, I will be writing letters out once again. And these are probably the last ones. I don't know if they will uh, get, not the last ones I ever write, but the last ones before Easter. Uh, some of them will probably reach their destinations before Easter weekend, but others it'll just be shortly after. All right, now my last envelope uh, I have comes from Virginia in Manitoba here in Canada. There's another surprise that showed up. And inside this envelope, she said she had a hard time finding postcards in her area, which is La Pas. And uh, so she sent this card, which I will read tomorrow because it has to do with question number two which we're going to get into here shortly. She also sent this envelope with things in it, which I will show in the video probably with uh, Bernardo stuff because it's stamp related. So we're going to make sure that that goes aside. Now, I did talk about question number two. And so what I'm talking about is tomorrow, Saturday. Every Saturday, I usually answer your questions that you've left for me on uh, the last Saturday's video, uh, with the exception of the first Saturday of the month. The first Saturday of the month, I uh, give you a question. I give you a month to respond with a postcard, giving your answers. Well, tomorrow is that Saturday, so tomorrow I'm going to read your answers for question number two, which was, uh, what is a food that is typical for your area, and where would you su suggest you eat it? Eat it? people have favorite restaurants or places that they like to get things from. So all the postcards that I've received in response to that, I will read tomorrow. And then I'm going to give you a new question for April, which will give you a whole month till the first Saturday in May to uh, send your responses. Uh, but very happy with the turnout in these videos. Uh, I've been doing great. And uh, the in-between Saturday videos where you continue to ask me questions and I respond, uh, those have been going well as as well so make sure you are subscribed you uh, leave comments you hit the like button if you like it um, and you've got your notification bell on so you know when my videos come out because um, I put them out not every day but almost every day you get videos probably between about five a week so I am putting out lots of content lots of different things uh, you get post crossing videos like today Saturday or um, Fridays are the days I tell you about the incoming mail uh, Sundays I show you my outgoing mail and then on uh, Saturdays we do the question and answer videos and then on Mondays usually is a stamp video or a video of showing what I may have received in the mail on Friday that I didn't show you. So there are a few things coming up and then I started the new video about famous Canadians and um, what their contributions are and I don't mean famous as in celebrities like rock stars and uh, actors and actresses, but uh, people maybe you didn't know about um, and uh, you deserve to know about them. So I'm trying to learn a few things, have a kind of a historical view. We are also, because it's springtime here, uh, we are getting to the stage where uh, festivals and uh, shows like car shows and things are going to get underway. So I'm going to start having some more of those videos, which I tend to do a lot more of in the spring and summer and fall. Um, and I know the uh, car show is coming up in a few more weeks, so I'm hoping to be able to attend that again, like I have the last couple of years, and uh, show you what's different, what's changed, and uh, maybe I'll even get a little bit more access, which would be nice, and uh, be able to show you something behind the scenes. Fingers crossed, anyways. That's what I'm hoping for. There's also some other videos that are in the works. I'm talking to other creators and maybe doing some uh, collaborate videos. Um, so yeah, trying to keep it fresh, trying to keep you uh, entertained as best I can and uh, all your comments and suggestions and helpful uh, tips along the way uh, help improve this channel. So thanks for everything you guys are doing too. Anyways, that's it for today. Have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Look at the boy. 
Who's a good boy? Bye.